Hey guys, it's Eneke, the Hazina Girl, and today we're gonna do a thrift haul, so let's get right into it. All right, so before I begin, obviously let's address the elephant in the room. Your homegirl has completely different hair. I've had this hair now for about a month. I finally found somebody in Tokyo who could do braids, and so I decided to switch it up, do something different. I've been in love with it. Anyways, that being said, I just want to say that this, for me, has been a super good, um, you know, moral boost because my life lately has been really hectic, not gonna lie. Um, I'm single, newly single. I also quit my job and I changed my visa, and I want to make a video where I, like, delve deeper into that later on but for now I just want to get into this haul as you guys can tell I got a massive bag worth of stuff if you guys didn't know the place that I love to go to it's called second street all right let's just get right into it so first off I got this right here this is a white shirt as you guys can tell it's just like a regular button-down shirt but honestly I don't have like a regular degular white button-down shirt I had one that's like made of a silky material but it was like a little bit too big for me and honestly the collar kept on getting super dirty and I was way too lazy to bring it into the wash um, what do you call those? not the wash, not the coin laundry the... I forget the word the people that wash your clothes you know what I'm talking about right? yeah anyway so because of that I just decided you know what I think that thing is past its time so I decided to just get a new one also when we were on our way to this thrift store we saw a girl who had paired this with like I think she had like black shorts on or something like that and I thought that was such a cute look like just wearing an oversized white top for summer um, I think it's perfect so yeah this one's from Uniqlo but obviously the price has been significantly reduced this was just 770 yen so I had to grab it Next up is this lovely denim top right here. This denim top right here is amazing because it has a lot like acid washed and I can tell by the label on here this is divided which means it's from H&M but honestly I don't really care if it's H&M or not like when I buy it from the thrift store I'm giving it a second life so I was super happy to cop this. I feel like this is going to be really good paired with like basically just anything really like a white t-shirt would be great with this um, or even just some regular jeans and this was just 550 yen so it was definitely a no-brainer for me to grab this and I can't wait to style it in a bunch of different ways next up is this top right here now luckily they were having like a, some kind of a sale for like summer tops so this shirt was 50% off and it was uh, 550 yen originally so this was like what 275 yen which is super cheap and this is just one of those strappy you know tank top type shirts um, and I don't know, I think this is just going to be so perfect for like auditions and stuff. The other day I went to an audition and I saw a girl wearing a top like this and I thought, oh, I really need one because it's like, it does something to your shoulders. Like it makes you look a little, you know, like you got a little decolletage going on. I love that look. So I was just like, you know what, I think I'm going to grab this and wear this to um, auditions here on out. So, yep, that's that. So next up is this top right here. This is a gray tank top. Again, this is divided, which means that it's H&M. Um, but obviously I got it for much cheaper than I would if it was H&M. This was 330 yen and it, because it was half off, it was only what, like 165 yen, which is fantastic. And I just think tops like these are like amazing for summer, obviously, especially because Japanese summer, honey, it is hot out here, okay? You could literally just boil an egg in the humidity that is this air, so. These kinds of tops are absolutely perfect and I used to be a person who hated showing my arms like I absolutely like it if unless it was like a t-shirt or a long sleeve I would not wear it but these days I'm just like you know what who cares like just show your body you know what I mean like it's hot outside and I have nothing to hide so just yeah I'm gonna be rocking these kind of tops a lot this summer. Alright, next up is another sleeveless top, another top with no sleeves whatsoever. This one is absolutely beautiful because it is a tan color. Lately I've been obsessed with these kind of like tan colors, I feel like they look really good on my skin tone and you can pretty much match them with like anything, like they look good with any kind of, you know, pants or whatever. Um, but I think this is going to be really cute, like paired with some gold jewelry and I think um, one of the things I'm excited to do with this as well, maybe once it starts to get warm outside, is to layer it like in the fall with maybe like a long sleeve white top or something like that. Um, and yeah, and I think this is just like super cool and the material is just absolutely so soft. Like I think it's like a type of cotton that... I don't know, I've never seen before. And I really, I can't read this label, like it's really, well, not that I can't read it, there's literally nothing on it. So, I don't know where it's from, but it's hella cute. So, yeah, excited to wear this. 
Next up is this top right here, another sleeveless top. You guys will notice that I grabbed a lot of sleeveless tops and that's just because this summer I cannot be bothered to wear sleeves. Um, and also this is super cute because it's kind of see-through. Like you can see through it a little bit. You can't really tell on camera right now, but when I'm wearing it, you can kind of tell. Um, but it's not to the point where it's like so extreme that people are like losing their minds because it's just like insanity. Um, it's just like a right amount of like, ooh, okay, you can see through it a little bit, you know? Which I think is nice because obviously that also means that like it gets a bit of a breeze, which is good. And yeah, I can't wait to wear this with all kinds of stuff. I feel like paired with black again would like be really super flim flimming? No, slimming. I think paired with black, yeah, this would be super slimming. And um, yeah, I can't wait to just like wear this out um, again with gold jewelry. I think it would look amazing. My next big step is to buy more gold jewelry because I've just been obsessed lately. So yeah, can't wait to wear this out. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the price, but that last beige top was 550 yen, I believe. And then this one was half of 550 yen, so this one was 275 yen, which is super cheap. Alright, next up is this top right here. It is a white Stussy shirt. I honestly don't know if it's real, but I think it is because it's got like the printed back like label here can you guys tell me if this is real i don't know but either way i was just like you know what i want to wear it so i will also i didn't even notice this before but i just noticed that there's like a purple dot on the shoulder i don't know what this is but interesting i have a feeling it's a fake shirt i don't really care though to be honest i think it's just really cute i like that it's like brown and it's kind of like this velvety like feeling on top i don't know how to explain it it's like a velvet type of like embossed text which is cool um yeah and this was just 550 yen and i needed a cute white top so why not i think this is gonna pair beautifully with like shorts or just with any kinds of like regular pants you know regular jeans that kind of stuff so yeah i'm excited to wear this next up speaking of shorts i found this little treasure this little gem this right here looks like a skirt from the front, but actually at the back, if you can see that, you can see it kind of right here. It's actually a pair of sports. So it's got some shorts at the bottom right here. So when you wear it, you feel really like secure. It doesn't feel like you're just wearing like a mini skirt that's gonna just like fly open with the wind. And even if you bend down and stuff, you know that nobody's gonna like see anything because you're completely covered up, which is good. So yeah, I tried it on and I just fell in love with it. And I think it's gonna be amazing for the summertime. And also I feel like in the colder months, if I pair it with some tights or even some like high socks or whatever, that it could still be super, super cute. And this is just 550 yen which is amazing. I cannot wear to I cannot wait to wear the crap out of it. Also because recently, I don't know if I told you guys this, but um, I've been doing modeling full time these days. That's kind of my main thing. So um, all I do is go to auditions or go to modeling gigs. And recently I was doing a modeling gig for a magazine and they had me wearing this like mini skirt and they're like do you wear mini skirts often and I was like heck no I ain't trying to wear mini skirts in this weather or even just in this country because people look at you all kinds of ways but I felt like when I wore this I was just like you know what who cares so why not why not just try something different all right next up we've got another dress shirt this one is I'm actually not sure where it's from because it doesn't really have um, like a tag on it or anything like that which is weird but um, this is just a black dress shirt. It's amazing. It is super like the material is really thin So I know that it's gonna be really fantastic for summertime even though it is black I think it's just gonna be super breathable and fantastic to layer with just to put on top of maybe like a strappy You know spaghetti strap shirt if I want something to cover up or whatever And it's also really long like it's got like a pretty decent length on it It's not super long, but it's got a decent length on it So I know that it'll be nice to just layer over maybe like um, the pair of shorts that I just showed before You know just for a little extra coverage just for another cute little look So yeah, and I think again this paired with some gold jewelry would look amazing so I can't wait to style this and wear it out and then next up this is probably the most expensive piece that I bought but I think it's totally worth it this is a pair of jeans I don't even want to call it jeans though to be honest because it's not real jeans um, they call it here on the tag wonder shape and it says the circle stretch which I think is a much better description of what exactly this is because it's literally extremely stretchy and it doesn't really feel like denim. It feels more like some kind of, I don't know, synthetic fiber. The textile you know student in me is trying to figure out what the heck this is. But um, yeah, I think it's amazing. Like I think it's just the type of like pants that you could wear to an audition to really like show every single curve of your body. And I think it's fantastic. It's gonna be such a good um, you know thing for me to wear. Not only to auditions, but just out and about. Cause it's also got like really uh, short 
like ankles which means that obviously I can wear it with like sandals or flip-flops or even just with sneakers and at least I like, feel like my ankles are breathing like it's not just like all like you know what I mean stuffy yeah so I think she's gonna be fantastic I hope she gets me some gigs and uh, she costed me a total of 30% off of 4180 which I think was like roughly 3,000 yen if I'm not mistaken a little less than that maybe but yeah, she was fantastical. She was a great purchase. She fits me like a glove, so I'm excited. And then next up, last but not least, is this cute little bag right here. So this bag was just 550 yen, which is super cheap. Again, like barely $5. Um, and it's got this gold little like, what do you call this? Handle? It's got like a gold circular handle at the top and then it's also got this like long strap which I can adjust and make longer if I wanted to and then it just hooks onto the side right here so obviously I can take it off if I wanted to um, but I saw that like the leather here is a little bit ripped so I'm not going to be playing around with it too too much but I just love this because I wanted a bag that was big enough to carry my iPad and also my composite because those are the only two things that I bring with me to auditions these days I literally just have a paper copy with like some basic photos of me and then my iPad to show them a bit more photos of myself but I love this thing because if you look inside I don't know if you guys can actually tell from this but like if you look inside it's got some compartments which I absolutely need because I am the type of person who carries 5,000 bajillion things in my bag when I go out so being able to put stuff into slots helps me like helps me stay organized and not want to like lose my brain you know what I mean so I'm excited to use this I think it's gonna be absolutely stunning and yeah and then last but not least, last but not least, last but not least, I cannot speak today. Last but not least, I wanted to show you guys something that I purchased actually completely separately from all of this stuff. I purchased this weeks ago when I was in um, Harajuku. I went to this store called Kinji and I got this lovely pair of low rise jeans. They've got these cute little pockets at the back which are absolutely stunning and these little, um, you know, silver details on the pockets like the little button pockets. And, um, yeah, I absolutely love these because I feel like they're so like early 2000s like Y2K aesthetic um, and I've been wearing the crap out of them already. They're just so comfy and even in the summer when it's like hot I can still wear them because they're not completely black, they're kind of like this grayish color. And yeah, I wanted to add this to the haul because I know that this is going to be one piece that I'm going to be rocking the crap out of. So I'm super excited to um, wear these and it says something at the back here, it says Venus Jean, which I'm just so curious to know like what exactly the brand is but who knows? Knows. Um, yeah, either way, I love these, so I want to showcase them to you guys. And yeah, that completes today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I cannot wait to wear each and every single one of these pieces out. And I can't wait to just like give myself an energy boost. Like wherever you guys are at in your life, just do whatever it takes to like get your mental health back on track. I realize that's something that's so important. I, for the first time, have been going through this roller coaster ride of emotions because of all the crap that's been happening in my life, like one right after the other. But I realize how important it is for me to just like do stuff that makes me happy and actually oh speaking of which this is completely unrelated but I want to show you guys something really cool that I bought recently so recently I've had this obsession with taking photos I realized that I always have I mean it's not something new like even from I think from the moment I really arrived in Japan I was always trying to find like disposable cameras or I always wanted like to get an instax camera and stuff like that but recently I was walking around my neighborhood and I saw this cute little shop that sells all kinds of camera related gear and they were selling old film cameras and I found this Canon film camera it was just 7,000 yen and I thought to myself you know what I've always wanted one so why not just bite the bullet and get it and so it is absolutely amazing it looks like this at the back this is where you put the film in and then of course at the top it's got this little like notch where you can put in a light um, so I'm excited because I want to get that as well and I want to do like really cool shoots with these. I think it would be so much fun um, to just like go out, take photos. And it's like really old school, like the kind that you have to like, you know, you to like get the roll to like move up and stuff. And it's been teaching me like how to take good photos because obviously you have to like know how to fix the aperture, how to fix the shutter speed, how to adjust the focus and things like that. Um, but I've just been loving this bad boy and I want to do more photo shoots for you guys to also be able to see them. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you want to see my photos, if you want to see what I'll be up to uh, in the next couple of months. If you want to keep up with me, if you want to see my modeling photos, make sure you follow me. And yeah, I just wanted to film this casual video for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!